All right, so 500,000 matriculants are about to sit for their final year examinations. In fact, when I say about to sit, we're talking in about 25 minutes from now. Our matric class of 2015 begin their exams. Chriselda Lewis is now at Wendywood High School, and uh, she's been following a pupil for a while just to find out how it's feeling and, uh, well, the feelings ahead of these matric examinations. But it looks like she's joined by perhaps one of the teachers or the principals. Well, let's find out. I think it's the principal of Wendy Wood High School. Chris Zelda, how is the mood there? I can imagine the nerves are running riot at this point. Well, absolutely, Leanne. Uh, of course, we're broadcasting live from Wendy Wood High School. And I can tell you some of the, the grade 12s, you can see there's a bit of nerves here and there, but, uh, you know, confidence, a lot of confidence, given the fact that uh, so many measures have been put in place by this school, uh, the Wendy Wood High School, to ensure that they really do get another great pass rate. Last year, they had about a 95% pass rate. And uh, today, we're seeing more than 100 of the uh, grade 12s sitting for the first examination, the English first paper uh, this morning. But let's chat to the principal of the school at the moment, Vusim Simango, who will tell us a bit more about the measures that the school has put in place to ensure that the school continues to do well. Uh, and Dr. Simango, thank you very much for your time this morning. Um, Finally, the day has come. I see when we arrived here this morning, yeah. you know, all systems were in place. Um, um, there was order. Uh, the, 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 the learners are already sitting in the, in the examination room yeah. waiting yeah. Uh, for nine o'clock. And uh, what measures did you put in place, you know, either run up to, 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 to this examination to ensure that your school continues to do well? Um, we took part in the provincial program school intervention, pro secondary school intervention programs. And most of our learners who reside in the areas of um, Ivory Park uh, were attending those C programs during the uh, school closure. And as a school, um, we also have compulsory classes, uh, afternoon classes for our grade 12, those that we intervening on them who are not performing very well. Mm. And uh, we made it compulsory to attend after school. Mm. You know, your school is one of the, you know, the one of the best performing schools. We're looking at 95%. Certainly you'd want to achieve more than that uh, this year? Um, our target is certainly 100%. Yes. Um, we are working towards 100% and I'm hopeful with my grade 12 that I have this year, 100% is on my plate. Oh, fantastic stuff. But, you know, how does the school achieve that? You know, uh, I'm standing at a school here today that's, be, that's doing relatively well. Uh, just walking around, you can see that the resources are there. Uh, but certainly there are schools that are not doing too well. Others may say it's resources. Others may attribute uh, that to many other things but you know throughout the course of the year you know what would you say is, is something that really puts your school uh, among the top maybe perhaps as somebody who's listening at home one of the principals could perhaps think maybe I can put that to the test as well um, I believe um, what makes a school to succeed is the attitude mm -hmm. the attitude of both learners teachers and parents and if you have a dedicated team like I have of educators mm -hmm. and who are even prepared to go an extra mile, as I also said to you, we also have an afternoon class, a teacher mm -hmm. who, won't, who won't mind to stay beyond after three, mm -hmm. beyond three o'clock just to assist the learners. And we've been assisting learners and I, I can tell you now, most of our gateway uh, um, subject teachers, med teachers for maths, uh, accounting, physics, or the sciences yes. have done a very good job in preparing our learners. Mm. And um, e even the learners themselves, you see by the time they were writing their preliminary examination, mm. even though they didn't do quite very well because they were a little bit nervous, but we tried to encourage them to say, this is it, this is your last hurdle, and this is your metric, your 12 years of schooling ends today. Mm. So you need to do your best because the real life that you're heading for, mm. it's coming in the following year. Mm. And um, also, we have also uh, um, parents who yes. are supportive to the that school. Very, very crucial. And, and you see, if, if you have parents who are dedicated, who would be able to assist their learners at home, and so that your child has got all the material, and even besides the material, mm. just, just encouraging your child to attend school and do whatever is required by the school. 
Oh, fantastic. Well, uh, we hope you really do achieve that 100%. We'll certainly be watching out for that. Thank the you. principal of uh, Wendy Wood High School here in the north of Johannesburg, hoping for a 100% pass rate there, Leanne. Certainly all schools around the country would want to achieve that. Uh, but uh, we'll bring you a bit, uh, much more a bit later on. We're hoping to speak uh, to the National Department of Education that's on their way to the school at the moment. But in the next few minutes, uh, everyone is seated here. Uh, some of the invigilators have also gone into the, into, into the room where the examination will be taking place. And certainly, uh, it, it seems to be all systems go here, Leanne. All right, thank you very, very much, uh, Chris Elder. It looks like um, all systems go there and certainly looking like the pupils and teachers and everybody ready to start the examinations there. Uh, before we cross over to Peter,